Patanjali Chaman Bros Pro Wrestling League Season 3 में देवे सजनों अब वक्त है पुरुषों के 57 यानी सतावन किलोग्राम वर कुश्ती का और इस समय मुंबई महारथीज की ओर से आ रहे हैं मंगोलिया मूल के एदने बात खेक भया मिट्टी से फोलाद बने दंगल के उस्ताद बने Patanjali Chaman Bros Pro Wrestling League Season 3 के पुरुषों के सतावन किलोग्राम वर्कुश्ती मुकाबले में एनसीआर पंजाब रॉयल्स की ओर से आ रहे हैं भारतीय मूल के उत्कार शिक्का So on to the men's 57 kilograms category and Dena Batin Bekbayar from Mongolia coming in to the Mumbai Maharati lineup and it's absolutely crucial for them that he wins. He's had good experience and he's up against Upkash Kali who's had a difficult tournament. Three losses so far, the 23 year old. So certainly even though he has been in the competition from the start. There won't be any huge expectation. Abdullayev is the referee. And this a must, must win for Mumbai Maharati. Because I'm sure that uh, Punjab Royals have got one more banker in the bag. But it's still very possible that Mumbai Maharati could win this one four bouts to three. I can see that happening. Raman, what about you? agree with you on that John that Mumbai Marathis are really lucky to have got Erdin Batin Bekhbayar as a replacement wrestler remember he's the bronze medalist of the world championships 2017 you generally expect that to be your first choice grappler a lot of army men in the crowd but come back to the point I was making Bekhbayar is a great replacement to get he is he took part in the competition last year and um, did really well but um, wasn't picked up by any of the teams this year, was part of the pool of replacements that they have if somebody is injured and can't continue. And he, as you say, Raman, has been a real positive addition to this Mumbai Maharati team. Straight away goes for a single leg hold, tries to effect a takedown. Good defense here by Utkarsh, but first point scored for that takedown by Bek Bayar. Up to zero. Good defense, I thought. Ukkash Kali looked in real trouble there. Bikbaya can't turn it into more than two, but that all important first two points, he's off and running. Remember, this is the men's 57 kg weight category, so you'll see a lot of quick moves. These grapplers are a lot lighter on their feet. It's a good muscle to weight ratio. And that's the reason why you'll see some very quick moves like the one we just saw from uh, Utkarsh Kale wriggling out of trouble. There's a single leg hold that Beck Bayar had. A quick release from Utkarsh. Certainly no passivity in this one. Coming up to two minutes gone and the advantage, but it's only a small advantage with uh, Beck Bayar, the Mongolian got a single leg hold that's a big grip can he get round behind yes he can another two points great move from the Mongolian now trying to turn his opponent over but again good defense from Lukash Kali take another look at that he's just shimmied a move Utkarsh blinked too early got hold of a single leg uh, did uh, Bech Bayar converted it into a two-point takedown Again, he's committed himself to attack. Utkarsh, well, lucky to get away with it. Bekhbayar is a little more reserved, so to speak, in terms of committing himself into an all-out attack. 
yeah, he's able to react rather than trying to initiate something when there's nothing on. Shows the sort of desperation that Ukash Kali has to try and get inside. Good for him, but again, turn very quickly and beautifully done by Bekbayar. And that's six points now. Can he turn that into more? Yes, he can. That goes to eight. And that also ends the first round of three minutes. All of this bout at the moment has an eight-point lead. And he did enough in his first replacement bout um, up against Vladimir Kinchukashvili. Lost it, but lost it only 8-4. And Kinchukashvili is a great wrestler. So now Ukash Kali with everything to do and certainly not going to give up without a real fight. Chucking himself into attack. First warning, first warning there for Utkarsh Kale for hitting his opponent and that's the reason why the, the ref intervened straight away. So he's got to be cautious, got to be careful, otherwise he'll end up conceding points. He's just trying to intimidate his opponent with that kind of physicality that he's shown. Yep, just took it a bit too far. Bit of slapping, not allowed. Grappling is what it's all about. And as I was saying before the break, if uh, Adena Vatin Bekbayar can finish this off and win it, this match is by no means over. I can only see one, what I would call certainty, for Punjab Royals in the rest of the programme, the other four bouts still to come. And with the likes of Odenayo, uh, Sakshi Malik and Soslan Romanov in the team, Mumbai Maharati, if they can pull this one off, we'll think they're still well in with a chance. Well, Utkarsh Kale is looking aggressive in this second round. He's trailing by eight points now. Just trying to intimidate Bech Bayar, who's looked the more technically superior of the two. Who's definitely looked the more agile of the two as well. The ref wanting the two grapplers to get on with it. A point hasn't been scored in this second round so far. Almost a minute and 20 seconds gone in round two. And Beth Bauer will not be worried about passivity. With an eight-point lead, he'll happily accept a one-point penalty if necessary. Because that will wind the clock down by 30 seconds in its own. Again, that speed. He turns it around and manages to take his man down. He gets it to 10. Now the chance again to try and turn his man. But a good defensive position taken up by Ukash Kale. Again, it's just the sheer alacrity with lightning speed. He made Utkarsh commit and then got behind him. But could this be the first scoring opportunity for Utkarsh Kale? No, he's not able to convert it into points. 10-0 in favour of Bech Bayar. Under a minute to go in the contest now. Into the last minute and Bech Bayar well in control. He's really managed to counter Raman every time that Utkash has tried to initiate a different sort of attack. He's had the answer. Absolutely, but you can have your say as well on the social media about what you're liking on uh, this broadcast. At the SPN underscore wrestling or hashtag uh, Kale Folladi, hashtag PWL3. Join the conversation. You can't join the wrestling action, but you can definitely watch it and join the conversation. Yeah, you can certainly be a part of it. 15 seconds to go. And uh, Utkash Kali is not going to improve his record in the competition he had one victory against Shravan uh, but that's what he's going to have to settle for thus far because uh, uh, Denabatin Bechbayar too good for him confirmed there as Victor 